business that is abusing their Google business profile is a huge problem for everyone. So let's talk about what the options are that you can do, because I'm going to show you in this video your two options. And be sure to stick around throughout the video, because you're going to want to determine based on the abuse that you're seeing in the Google business profile, which is right for you. And it's important to fix this because it's not only harming you, but if somebody's spamming their Google business profile, it's hurting other more rewarding businesses that should be able to get those search results that aren't because a business is spamming Google or it's hurting consumers who are now going to a business that can't live up to the representation that's represented online. So it's important to get those listings off Google. I'm going to show you two of the options that Google gives you to handle these. Okay. The first thing that you can do, and again, I'm not saying anything to do with this business here that we're looking at has any type of spam review. We're just using them as an example, but let's just say it was this business. So one of the things that might be a problem is they've got reviews that are all spammy, right? And it's making their ranking look better than yours. Now, unfortunately, there's not a lot of great options for that. But what you can do is go over here, use these three buttons, report review, and then it does give you this option that's to report as spam. So a review is from a bot, fake account, or contains ads or promotions, right? It's not actually something that um, was a legitimate review for the business. So that's one option, and then you can report the review that way. Now, if that doesn't work or it doesn't make sense for what you're seeing, maybe in the Google business profile, people are spamming their title or their website or things like that, like they're putting like... Uh, you know, dog walking near me as their business name or something like that to spam the results. I'm going to put this link in the description below. This is the business redressal, redressal complaint form. And this is where you can file a full complaint about that Google business profile. Now you do have to identify what the issue is or where you're seeing the problem. So you select that and then you have to get the public URL for the location. So that's really important. Um, and then if you have any supporting evidence of the negative activity that they're doing, you can choose and upload those files there and then please explain too. Now to get this actual link, you need to go over here to the, the business and you need to open them up in Google Maps so that you can get the link to the profile, right? Or you can click right here on share and you can copy the link right there. Um, or you can open them in Google Maps and copy the URL like you see here so that you can put in a public domain for them. Now you can add additional fields if you're seeing like abuse in more places that you wanna represent. Um, you can add additional fields to this too with links to showcase their abuse. So those are really your two options. If you see an abusive Google business profile, it's important to report them to keep these results legitimate for everybody, um, but your business redressal form or just going in and flagging the offensive content or the contents that's problematic by using those little three buttons are your best options. If you like this video, we're talking about ways to elevate your business the right way with keywords and SEO optimization for your local market. So hit that subscribe button and we'll catch you in future videos.